there are various methods such as home remedies and even medical solutions in treating vertulin cysts and truthfully most of this method works as a matter of fact I've shared some of these methods in some of my previous videos where you'll be talking about fair-based care, talking about Bertolin cysts and some other wonderful methods that you can use to treat Bertolin cysts at home. But today, I'm going to be sharing with you a lifesaver that will help you cure Bertolin cysts in 24 hours or less. And I'm super sure that will be great when you came across this video. You are welcome to my channel and my name is Odrani and in today's video, just as you can see in the title and like I said earlier, I'll be sharing with you how to cure battling cysts in 24 hours. I made a video a couple of times ago where I shared how I defeated battling cysts and in that video, if you actually watch the video, you would see I, disc I told you about how the battling cysts was able to resolve itself and thereafter blah 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 blah. Please go and watch the video. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I was also able, you know, to cure, to cure the Bertolin cyst permanently with this method. And this method has not only worked for me, it has also worked for some other people that have come back to give testimonies that this method is actually a lifesaver. And I wouldn't call it coincidentally. Since I've tried this method, Bertolin cyst never came back. And not just for me. For the same ladies, some other ladies that have actually tried this method, they both said, after trying this method and using it to treat Bartholin cysts, it never came back. Now, I cannot guarantee that this method is why it never came back, but I must tell you that I am super grateful that I have not had Bartholin cysts since then. So, what's this method? <laughs> this method is actually similar to six bits, but my dear, it is not six bits. It is way far from it. What are you going to be needing for this method? Number one, you will be needing your kitchen salt. Yes, this is the regular kitchen salt. You can use Epsom salt that we use for six bits. You can use Epsom salt, but this would also work fine. You would need antiseptic. Now I don't have antiseptic here, but you would need any form of antiseptic. It's optional. It is not compulsory in this method, but you can actually use antiseptic also as part of this um, remedy. Another thing you'll be needing is shea butter. Shea butter or anything that has the characteristics of shea butter. Anything that can help you to dissolve abscess easily. Vaseline. Things like that in that class, but I used shea butter. And then you would be needing apple cider vinegar. I always talk about apple cider vinegar. <laughs> so you'll be needing apple cider vinegar. You would need a washcloth. Sorry. You would need a washcloth. A clean, I emphasize again, a clean washcloth. Because when you are dealing with that part of the body, it has to be clean. Not even when you have battling cysts, because whatever you use there can complicate issues for you. So you would be needing a washcloth. This is pretty essential. And then you would need a small towel like this. We sometimes call this, it's, it's longer than a face towel. I won't call it a face towel, but you know what I'm talking about. Just a small towel. If you can get two of it or something thicker than this. When I explain, you would know why. If you can get something thicker than this, then fine, it could do. Then you would need a blanket. I don't have a blanket here because, you know, even with this towel, it's difficult to spread. I would not be able to spread up a blanket, but you need a thick blanket or a thick towel, you know, that can cover up your body. You would need it. Then you would need a bowl like this, a bowl with a dip. This bowl if you know it's far from the bowl you use for seat bait you would need it you know you don't use this type of bowl for seat bait you use a bowl that can actually rest on the wc that can rest i think maybe on the base that part where you sit on wc you know where you can sit in the bowl but this bowl goes inside the wc so if you can get something a little bit uh, bigger than this so that it doesn't just drop you understand aha you can get something bigger but preferably a bowl with a dip that can take about one liter of rolling boil water and then another thing that you would need is time because 
you would need to repeat this process every four four hours minimum of every four four hours and probably maximum of every three three hours so you need to dedicate time to it another thing you will need is endurance because you'll be dealing with hot water you know boiling hot water and then you need to be very careful we are talking about hot water you know skin is essential so there won't be home accidents we rebook that in jesus name actually because we are trying to treat something ah all is well so you need to be very careful you need time you need a lot of endurance and you need to be very very careful so what you are going to do is you get this bowl and then you sit it inside uh your wc that is the water closet the bowl should be able to fit inside the water closet so you put it on your in your water closet you fill it with rolling boil water of at least about one liter hot water that the steam you know is coming the steam is you know just going out from it you put in that you put just one cup just one cup of apple cider vinegar I hope I'm not wasting this just one cup like this I hope I don't know if you can see just one cup you put it in the bowl so I put that in the bowl because I can't pour it back inside. You put it in the bowl and then you get your salt. You just take about a tablespoon, a tablespoon of salt. You add it to it and then you pour the water or you can add it directly in the water or probably add it in the bowl first. Then you pour your very hot water inside and then you put, you know, this should sit inside your toilet bowl. Then you use this, this soft towel. If you can get about two of it, fine. You put this at the edge. I just wish I could make a video demonstrating this so you would understand. You put this just on the part you are going to sit on the toilet bowl where your lap and your skin is going to touch. The reason is because because the water is very hot, the WC is actually going to get hot. So you sitting on it, you might, you might not be comfortable. So you put this cloth on it. So you sit on the cloth at least before this um the the towel that's why i said if you get something thicker than this it is better before the towel gets really really hot you you know the you would have gotten the effect that you actually need then what you do is when you place it there you sit on your wc and you allow the heat from the water that is the steam this is just like when you want to do vagina steam but you know you are not using herbs and all that is why i'm very careful not to say vagina steam this is not the the usual vagina steam that we all know so you sit on it just as if you are doing vagina steam and then you allow the heat from the water you know to go directly into your private parts you allow the heat directly to you know into your private part if it is possible for you to use your hand to open up your private part so that the heat can go directly into the surface of the battling seat then it is okay you can use your hand you know to open it up a little because of the heat you can take out your hand and all and if the heat is getting too much you can stand up and that is why you need blankets when you sit on it directly you cover you know your body with your the thick blanket to cover all the parts of your as, as if you're sitting like this you just use the towel the big blanket you know you wrap it around like that up cover it you know use it to cover your lap your to your pelvic area you know you cover it with the wc down like that a part of the blanket can even be you know touching the ground and all that just make sure that everything is covered so that the steam does not escape you cover up and then the steam and everything goes you know into the into your private part and then majorly it would um you know steam up the battle cyst. one thing that is essential that you also need is time you have to repeat this process at least every four four hours it should not be less than four hours if you want to see results and you have to sit on the hot water for a minimum of 15 minutes you have to sit on the hot water for a minimum of 15 minutes allowing you know the steam 
with the apple cider vinegar and all the reason why you put apple cider vinegar is you know apple cider vinegar is kind of strong and it's good in cleaning you know surfaces cleaning bacteria and all and that is why i said you can also add antiseptic it is optional some antiseptics some people are allergic to it and then sometimes too much of it you know because it's like um antiseptic you know is like as if you are sanitizing something and cleaning surfaces too much of it might not be good so that is why i said it is quite optional only if you feel that it is necessary that's when you had antiseptic to it so once you are done when you, you sit on the hot water for say about uh 10 yeah maybe about 10 to 15 minutes you then use this clean wash clothes you use it to you know touch the hot water you put it in the hot water take it out squeeze out the water and use the wash clothes you know to massage the Bartholin seeds. And when I say massage, I don't mean you should press it in. You know that the seeds is even actually painful. So you pressing it in is might even not be visible. I think that is the word. So you just use it to you know touch it. You know just ensure that the the heat from the cloth also you know gets to it. The main thing is just for enough heat you know to get to the seeds. So you touch it. You need to touch it. And then you press it on it then you do that for maybe say another uh say about three to five minutes after you've done you are done with sitting on the hot water and then you can then stand up when you stand up you wipe with something clean this is what i emphasize most when people have batulin seeds the main, main thing is just ensure that you are clean down there because anything you introduce down there can complicate issues for you and that is why you see me mentioning clean 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 so ensure you clean with, with either a clean wash cloth, probably a towel, or you can just use um, probably um, maybe tissue or something, wipe or something. Just make sure that you are clean down there. You clean off the water and then you apply Batoline cyst on... Um, <laughs> I said Batoline cyst, I'm sorry. Then you apply shea butter on the battling seeds you apply it generously enough and most times it is just better i just stay at home you can dedicate probably a whole day or dedicate a whole night to do that you don't have to wait to when the battling seeds becomes very painful and aggressive before you do this i can bet you that it works and i know that you'll be glad that you actually came across this video so once you do that you Keep doing it. Keep doing it every four, four, minimum of four hours. When I did my, okay, well, the last one, did when I did my day, I did it for every, I did it every four, four hours, you know, every four, four hours. I think I started, I did it around, I said around 12. I did it 12. Then I did it, um, okay, sorry, I did it every three, three hours because I was home. I did it 12. I said I 12, did it by three, did it by six, did it by nine. And then I went to bed, woke up, did it by, I think, 12, did it by 12. Then I woke up, did it by 4. But around that 4, I woke up, I think, around 4.30 to 5 in the morning. I did it, and by the time I left the restroom, just to lay on the bed, the thing burst. So the battery seat just, you know, burst, gave way, and I felt it stands relief. If you count, if you look at the time between 12 a.m. till about 4 a.m., that is about 12 to 12 is 4 hours, for, uh, is 12 hours, rather 12 plus 4, that's about 16 hours. And it was gone. So imagine, I was able to get rid of battling system 16 hours. So the method works and the advantage, the reason why this method beats Bartholin cyst hands down is this. Because the Bartholin cyst needs enough heat and pressure for it to you know to burst open. Seed base cannot give you that amount of heat because in all honesty, you cannot sit inside the rolling boil water. It is practically impossible. But your skin can endure the heat, but your skin can never endure a rolling boil water. So if you are doing seat bit where you have to sit inside the water, then you will not get that effect. If you take it 24 hours for the battling cyst to burst with steam, then 
you should multiply that 24 hours by maybe three or two let me say a minimum of two before you can get it to boil. so sometimes you can be going for probably about um 36 hours 72 hours or there about before you can even start having the effect with seed bait but because you know the steam and the heat that comes from it coupled with the fact that you massage it with very hot water then you can be so sure that it will burst and it will be quick to burst and the second reason why this method beats seed bait is because after even after the batolin seeds you know it has given way it's out already when you keep sitting on you know the steam after the battle insist at boss then it helps the pulse to drain out quickly because of the steam you know the pulse you know starts coming out and then the rate at which the paint drains faster and dries up is quite faster compared to when you do sit bits or you try some other method or some other at home remedy and another tricky thing is this, this that the massage that you do allows blood to flow you know to that side as much as uh, you know putting the hot compress you know compressing it with this hot wash cloth compressing it hot wash cloth like this then the bl blood starts flowing to that side and then it helps the side to heal up quickly and then you know with that the pulse comes out and then the side heals up quickly and another thing that i have seen that work is that once you start feeling battling cyst coming there's a way you feel it ladies you start feeling some tingling sex sensations or some madly painful sensation at that point that sometimes you cannot even pinpoint you will not be able to place your hand on it you'll be like oh is it a battling cyst coming or is it something else at that point if you start this thing you just do it maybe twice a day do it morning and evening morning and evening you might not even put all these um salt or whatever in it you can just use the water with um apple cider vinegar just sit on it allow this thing you know to touch that area then you you know you do the hot compress hot compress you massage it with that hot water and then you go just do it morning and night morning and night for about three days you would not even feel that tingling effect or whatever again so if you keep doing that i'm sure that the battling cyst will not come back and then you will not even and if peradventure it comes back you know that you can deal with it in about 24 hours now there are some battling cysts that are not painful they are just there they are big they are not painful you cannot really pinpoint even if it is a battling cyst if you are in that situation i would advise that you you know see your doctor and be sure that what you're treating is battling cyst and this method we only allow battling cyst that is already half set to bust open there is no reason why you want to bust open a battling cyst that is not already half set you can try so it is not already half set it allows your body you know to absorb back the fluid and then it reduces the size gradually but for battling if it is already abscessed and you do this method in less than 24 hours you can say bye bye to battling cyst thank you so much beautiful people that is what i have to share with you today and i'm pretty sure that you have gained a lot if you have gained a lot from this video or if you appreciate this content please give this video a thumbs up you can share it with some of your friends and how where you can share this video with your friend just on top of the subscribe button and then you can click on the subscribe button if today is your first time you know of coming across this content click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell and let be and be a part of this community and for those that come to watch this video from some other platform from facebook from whatsapp from you know instagram from some other social media platform please ensure that you sign in when you click on the subscribe button youtube is going to notify you and ask you to sign in just put in your email address, you know, put in your password, sign in, and then you subscribe. It is simple and free. Thank you so much, and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.